guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and today we are going to start a new What We In A Week video. So for the next seven days, I'm going to try to remember to film our breakfast, lunches, and suppers, and share them with you guys, and just bring you along with us. So here is day one. Oh, what baby? You watching? She's hugging my leg. Okay, this is day one. Here we go. All right, turn the camera around here to show you breakfast. So we started off with some fried eggs and just made up a whole bunch of these, put them in a cake pan and left them in a warm oven while the entire batch got done. I do still have boys outside working with Sean, so they haven't come in to eat yet. Girls are getting started eating though. Um, a big package of turkey bacon from Sam's Club. We will not eat this whole thing this morning. We're going to eat some of it for breakfast, and then we're going to uh, eat some with loaded potatoes later, and maybe BLTs also if I still have enough left over after that. So it will all get used up. Oh, I've got boys coming in. Okay. You guys ready to eat? Okay. Okay. So yeah, the fried eggs just came from our chickens and then the hash browns here. These are the ones that I get from Sam's Club. If you've looked at my uh, Sam's Club hauls for each month, I pretty much buy at least one of these each month. And the kids think it is an awesome, amazing, super duper treat because we are used to having my homemade bread toasted and buttered or jam for breakfast so if they can have this instead of regular toast then it's a super duper treat and then we have some of our blackberries we are harvesting some every single day so that's part of breakfast this morning too for those of you that don't know we have seven children my husband and i so these are going to be the meals for our family of nine for the week and i will see you guys again at lunch Wait a minute, guys. I wanted to show you everything all plated up. Here's one of them. Look at all those hash browns. So this is why children go crazy, because they get lots of hash browns. Oh, and our eggs, too. Someone had asked in our last What We Eat in a Week video, the children like their fried eggs with hard yolks. So I like mine softer. Children all like them harder. And so we just make them the way they want to eat them. So that's why they have hard yolks. Okay. I think that's it. I think I'm done. <laughs> nami, nami, nami. Oh, good. Oh, wild girl. Do you, do you make messes? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Is the egg? Is the egg good? <laughs> Is it a good egg? <laughs> okay, lunchtime, lunchtime, guys. It is loaded potatoes for lunchtime. Uh, we take the russets here. These are the ones that I got on sale at 10 box at one of my recent uh, weekly sale ad videos. We have put them in the Instant Pot. And Andrew's my lunchtime helper. He's the one that takes care of this. Andrew, did you say 14 minutes? All right, 14 minutes, and they come out, and they doctor them up however they want them. They can add butter, sour cream, salt, pepper. This is more of that bacon. This is left over from breakfast. Just dice some up and add it. We do have green onions. This is just from our onion plants out in the green stock towers right now. And we use this little handy dandy tool. I need to see about putting this on our Amazon store. Because mm -hmm. this comes in so handy to, you see how it's got the, uh, the lines there. So it, uh, oh, that's for my chicken sausages. <laughs> we got food going everywhere, guys. Um, this uh, chops up the uh, green onion very, very well. So... I let them doctor it up however they want it, of course, and there's cheese there too, and uh, they can grate it up themselves. Okay, now I obviously, with my blood sugar issues, I cannot have big old, big old potatoes. So, Andrew is working on my chicken sausages. 
Yeah. Oh, it's in there? Here. Okay. You go on around and take that lid off, and I'll show them. These are these chicken sausages that I get at Aldi. They're just going to cook some of these up for me real quick, and I'll probably eat two of these sausages, put the other two in the fridge for later. And there is cucumber tomato salad left over from our Independence Day celebration, and that will be my lunch. So, all right, that is everybody's. I've got them. They're coming and going. I've got Andrew, Sarah, and Rebecca in here eating now. And we'll get the others in here shortly. And I'll see you guys back at supper time. All right, getting ready to get supper going here, you guys. I'm going to give you a sneak peek as I'm getting started on it here. This is a recipe called Spanish squash. It's kind of like Spanish rice, only there is no rice. There is squash instead, which is great for me with my blood sugar issues to not have that grain in there. So I've already got the uh, meat started with some onion in there. I'm about to uh, dice up, mince up some garlic scapes. These are the ones that we harvested from our garden and they're keeping fine in the fridge for right now. So I'm just going to use some of those. Uh, this is our lemon squash and there's a crookneck squash in there too from our garden. We are getting peppers now, but these are still peppers that I got on sale a couple weeks ago. They need to be used up, so I'm using these first and leaving my garden peppers for a little bit. And I'm not getting tomatoes yet, so we're just using a can of diced tomatoes today. And then I'll add some seasonings and stuff to it, and I will show you all what it looks like once it's cooked up and on the plate. It's been a while since we had this because this is a seasonal dish for us. So I will be back in just a little bit with you guys. All right, guys, got this all fixed up here. Everything is softened up. Got the peppers and the squash and the tomatoes in there. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bowls here. We'll get it set on the table and see what everybody thinks. I think this may be the first time that Rebecca, oh, my camera's steaming up. <laughs> It's too hot. I think this is the first time that Rebecca has had uh, this dish. So we will see what baby girl thinks about this. Okay, guys, I need input. Is it edible? Is it mm -hmm. so gross, Mama? How do you feed us this? Awful, awful. <laughs> it's amazing, Sarah says. Amazing. <laughs> What do you think, Rebecca? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. That's a pepper. Hmm? Is it good? Yeah, why don't you eat it and not play with it, okay? What's that? That's squash. Want to eat it? Mmm, mmm, there you go. All right, guys, that is supper time. Mama is going to eat now, and we'll be back tomorrow morning. Yes, good stuff. All right, see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys, next day, next morning, we are trying out that cream of barley. If you saw my Azure Standard video, the most recent one, we're trying this out as a replacement for Malto meal because some of the children were not liking the Malto meal, so we thought we'd try this out. So this morning is the big test. Um, it made up just the exact same way as malto meal, so it looks very very similar But of course malto meal is made with wheat and this cream of barley is made with barley Okay, so they added butter and cinnamon and maple syrup and uh, Some of them added milk to theirs too. So we're going to go over here and see What you think? Good? good. Okay. It's better than malto meal. You like it better than malto meal. I like it way better than malto meal. Really? Anna was the biggest critic of the malto meal. So, you think cream of barley? Good mama? Yeah, you that's your second bowl already. I know you like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have nothing to compare it to since I didn't eat the malto meal, but I think it was pretty good. Okay. It, ta it ta tastes like oats to me. Tastes like oats. Yeah, it does. Okay. It does. Well, you doctored it up very similar to oats. All right, guys. Malto meal gets seven thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe. 
<laughs> All right, guys. 100. 100 thumbs up. All right. <laughs> we'll be back at lunchtime and see what we're having then. All right, a lunchtime update. And actually, this is going to be... Well, we've got two separate lunches going on here. So the first lunch is Sarah and I. This is what we're having because we're not having what the rest of the family is. Sarah and I are just doing leftovers. This is the leftover Spanish squash from our supper last night. We have some cucumbers that have just come out of the garden. And then this is the water kefir that Sarah's making. It's a probiotic drink. So we're each having some of that. And the rest of the family is going to have BLTs, but I still have to slice up the bread and stuff for that. So that is in process. I am supposed to remind you guys that, well, David told me to tell you guys that I forgot something at breakfast. He had kombucha with his breakfast this morning. And when I got done filming, he's like, Mama, you didn't tell him about my kombucha. So if you need to rewind and look at David's kombucha on the breakfast table, you can do that. Otherwise, I'll be back in just a few minutes here and show you what the rest of the family is having for lunch. All right, I'm getting ready to start building sandwiches, and I wanted to show you guys kind of how we line things up and do our assembly line for lunch. Children are coming in. They know it's time to eat. So I start off with our bread. I just slice some of it up. We'll slice more up as we need it. This is the bread that I bake every week. There's actually a video on how I grind the grain in my grain mill and bake this bread. So I'll link to that video in the description box below, but they can get their bread. I go ahead and buy just this squirt store-bought mayonnaise for things like this. Um, I will be making mayonnaise later on this week because I plan to make a seven layer salad to take to a family reunion. And I was gonna show you guys that as part of this video but we're using store-bought mayonnaise for these sandwiches. Uh, this is some of the lettuce blend that I got marked down at Kroger on my last weekly sale ad video that was in there. Uh, we are not getting tomatoes from the garden yet, so these are store-bought tomatoes, those Roma tomatoes that I got on sale probably a, two weeks ago, I'm thinking, and they've been kept in the fridge and they're fine. So tomatoes, some of the children want cheese on theirs, uh, somewhat red onion so we're doing that the pickles here these are ones from our garden last year that uh, Sarah canned up some dill pickles I wanted to show you guys this little handy tool I purchased this off I think it was eBay a couple years ago and it is so handy for opening up these jars and I think it's like the real deal it looks old so maybe it's from the 1950s or something even I'm not sure but it's handy and it just makes it so easy to just pull that right off. So if you can get one of those, it's great. I keep our jars of home canned goods in our root cellar. So I had to go out and grab one of those and I've just reheated some bacon from yesterday morning's breakfast and we have more that we can heat up if they wipe this out. So we'll start making up sandwiches and get them eaten. All right, boys have some sandwiches made up. There's David's sandwich. He likes plain. There's no lettuce. There's just cheese and meat on your sandwich, David. Like it with sandwiches, burgers, everything. That, you just like it plain? Okay, well, at least you got your pickle. Now, Andrew's is prettier over here. Andrew. Breadcrumbs on my There's breadcrumbs on your pickle. Yeah, see, his is prettier there with the, with the green and the red. Okay, they're all munching on pickles over here. So, okay, go ahead and eat, guys, and we'll be back. I guess we'll see you guys at supper time again. All right, Sarah was in charge of supper tonight, and looky, looky what she made for everybody. Got some, this is called lasagna soup. It's so good. It's so good. They love it. Let me see. Is this lighting, is that any better? I don't know if you can see it better or not got those um well we can use any type of noodles in yeah. it sometimes we even use the brown rice quinoa noodles from aldi and but this is just regular rotini noodles in here it's really just whatever we have on hand so sarah is putting it in bowls and she is going to grate up some mozzarella cheese on there 
And then, do you have the bread out yet? No, I okay. don't. Okay, well here, I'll come back in just a minute and show you guys the bread and stuff too. We have French bread as well. We'll be right back. All right, Sarah's got the bowls made up over here. They're ready for the table. Still a little bit in there. And here's the bread. I did not bake this today. I actually, um, I baked four loaves late last week. Yeah. Before our 4th of July celebration that we went to at a friend's house and we only used three of the loaves So this has been wrapped up in the freezer since then. I just pulled it out this morning and We're slathering some butter on it. This is butter from Daisy our cow and They're gonna have this French bread along with the lasagna soup tonight And I guess I have to point out Sarah you made supper tonight <laughs> Because mama is busy. I am baking bread. There we go. I have bread going and I was working on YouTube stuff So I did not beat you and force you to cook supper Because I'll get those comments. <laughs> Some people need to learn to keep their mouth shut <laughs> Their mama didn't teach them that did they? Mm -hmm. If you can't say nothing nice. Don't say nothing at all. There you go. <laughs> Okay, and then obviously with the pasta and everything, this is not a mama-friendly meal, French bread and all that. So this is the mama plate here. I'm having the last of those chicken sausages that I had heated up, uh, was it yesterday? I've lost track of time. Some cucumbers from our garden and blackberries from our property. And then cheese and the one little lonely cherry tomato that we've gotten. I think this is the second cherry tomato that has ever come in from the garden this year. So there's the mama plate. They are ready to eat. So I'm going to start uh, giving them their food. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys, next morning. This is actually Independence Day. So this is our 4th of July breakfast here. This is egg pizza. It is just mushrooms and onions and green peppers and tomatoes all sauteed up in some butter. Add some eggs and let it harden up a little bit on the stove top before putting it in the oven at 350. Once the eggs are all cooked, oh I forgot you put cheese on top too. Once the eggs are all cooked, you turn it to broil for just a few minutes to turn that cheese a golden brown. Slice it up like pizza and then put it on the plates. So we're gonna have that. There are some fermented pickles over here. These are still from our garden last year. They've been in the refrigerator. They're preserved through fermentation. So we are still eating on these. And then toast. And this is from that bread that I was baking yesterday evening while Sarah was fixing our supper. Oh, she's glaring at me now, you guys. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get some plates made up and get everybody to eat over here. All right, guys, lunch today. You guys have seen this before. We had extra hot dog buns left over from that sale, from the weekly sale ads last week at Kroger. And so these have been turned into pizzas. So, yep, put them in the oven just enough to get the bread hardened up a little bit. Put some pizza sauce on there. What, baby? What, baby? You gonna eat some pizzas? Yeah, yeah. Put some pizza sauce on there. Some want pepperoni and some do not. So that's what is for lunch today. We'll see you back at supper. Say bye. Bye. Now, of course, guys, I can't have those pizza, oh, hot dog pizza bun, hot dog bun pizzas. Is that what we're gonna call them? Okay. <laughs> I can't have the hot dog bun pizzas, so I'm just having a salad for my lunch. And then look what Sarah has made to go with supper tonight. So that'll be yummy, yummy for them. We'll see you at supper. All right, guys, next morning, we're having oats for breakfast this morning. Sam is going to get started making up some bowls here. Now, you probably noticed there was no supper last night. And that's because I had a pretty substantial adrenal crash and I have been either sleeping or sitting in a chair with a heating pad on my back so there was no mama making supper last night Oops. and um, everybody just kind of foraged around for supper so my back it's still cramping up pretty bad 
Um, but we're moving on to the next thing, and that is breakfast. Um, I did four cups of oats with four cups of water last night and soaked this overnight with a fourth cup of spelt flour and four tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar and cooked that up with two cups of raisins that had been soaked overnight in water as well. So this, uh, sorry guys, my back is cramping up pretty bad. Sam is making up bowls here with some butter in it and some cinnamon and some maple syrup. So this is what children are eating. Of course, I cannot have this. I'm just having some fried eggs for breakfast and probably some avocado or something with it. So um, we will, Lord willing, be back at lunchtime. All right, guys, lunchtime. Yes, baby, lunchtime is hamburgers. And typically we don't have buns with our burgers, but you'll see here in just a minute. Yes, we're going to get you burger now. Oh, this is the hamburger seasoning that uh, Andrew puts in. That's for the burgers, yes. That's what Andrew puts in the uh, meat while it's still raw and then patties it out and puts it in the skillet. These are some sweet potatoes that we harvested from our garden this past fall. They have been stored in the garage this whole time, and they cook up just fine. We have some purple ones, and then the others are more of a white-fleshed sweet potato there. So typically, we do not have buns whenever we just eat, uh oh David, whenever we just eat burgers for lunch. And, but today, Sarah had buttermilk left over from making butter that she needed to use up, so Sarah made biscuits. <laughs> She made lots of biscuits, and a lot of these will go in the freezer to be used later. Yeah, you can go eat. Don't you have a plate already? Yeah, she's got a plate on the table already. So some children are choosing to use these biscuits as hamburger buns, like David. So, <laughs> And then I have some cucumbers from the garden. Sarah's already sliced those up. I've got cucumbers there on my plate there is banana bread here but that is going for um we have a homeschool event tomorrow with the homeschool group what baby yeah you can go sit by abigail and you go eat you can say prayer and then eat okay okay all right guys that is lunch i feel like i'm getting back on my feet again my back pain is not what it was earlier today so Hopefully, I'm coming out of that, and it'll be all good. So, I will hopefully see you guys at supper time. There was one other thing I wanted to point out before we moved on here. Before somebody says, your hamburgers look like little meatballs instead of burgers. Because <laughs> somebody will say that, won't they, baby? <laughs> they fit perfectly on the biscuits. So that's how we like the hamburgers. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, so we're at supper. Um, I'm I'm filming. Um, I'm Sarah, for those who don't know. Um, Mama was back down. Her back was bothering her really bad. So I and so Andrew and I whipped up su supper. Andrew's the one in orange, for those who don't know. <laughs> And we got canned rav ravioli out. This is one of some of the little ones' favorites. And I also made biscuits today um, from buttermilk that I had left over from the homemade butter right there. And I had some greens left over that were going bad. So I picked out the good ones and made it up a little side salad that they could just dish out for those who wanted it. So far, Anna's the only one who's grabbed that, so. <laughs> I guess Anna will finish that off. And Mama and I, we don't eat ravioli, so I made us up chicken salads here. Um, I just put on some things that were coming out of, out of the garden on top. Um, some cucumbers and peppers. So we made up that. Rebecca, is is it good? <laughs> Oops. 
Are we gonna take that as a yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you say, are we gonna see you guys at breakfast then? Okay. Bye. <laughs> so, um, we missed filming breakfast. <laughs> and, okay, we had cereal for breakfast. Um, just, um, it was cornflakes that I believe we got on clear, on clearance from Kroger. And then, of course, fresh Daisy the cow milk. And then we went to a homeschool play date for lunch. Uh, we brought banana bread and the pasta house salad that mama makes so good. And um, so we had lunch there. So that's why breakfast and lunch, sadly, were not filmed. We were a little um, busy this morning and we forgot to pick up the camera and film. But we are going to film supper. So I thought we'd come and try to patch up this little bit of a mess we we, we, we made and hopefully you all for, forgive us. So we're gonna see what we have for, for supper here. Okay, so here's the food we all um, have for supper. Daddy grilled us chicken here. It's so good. And um, these are biscuits left over from yesterday. I just heated them back up in the oven. We've got daisy butter for it. Um, we've got green beans. About half of these are ones that we actually got from our own garden. So I'm really excited for those. The potatoes have already been mostly gone. They're, most of them are on people's plates. But these were buttered parsley bata potatoes. I'm sorry guys. I, if you haven't caught on, I have a tad bit of a stutter. And um, so here's what a finished plate looked like I don't this is my my plate I don't get um I don't I choose not to have the the biscuits and um mama can't have the potatoes or the biscuits because of her blood sugar so I made her up a beautiful nice pretty salad she loves my salads and I like making them it's like the art of the salad I like making ma making them pretty so I made her up one with all that it has our lettuce greens and our peppers and our tomatoes so I made her up that and I guess that's all we're having for supper tonight well mom and I are having for dessert oh yeah here's mama's isn't that salad so pretty <laughs> so for dessert mom and I are having a cantaloupe we got it, it smells so good and then everyone else. Got it from the garden. Yes, from the gar the garden, and um, for ev everyone else, they get banana bread and chocolate chip cookies. Not a bad dessert. So we'll see you guys at breakfast if we remember to get the can the, the camera tomorrow morning. Hey guys, next morning. Yes, the mama is still here. And I'm planning to help with breakfast this morning. I'm still having some back pain, but it is coming and going now at least and not constant. So I am able to be up and help out somewhat. So I'll go through what the plan is for breakfast this morning. All right, girls are getting ready to go outside and feed the cats down at the barn this morning. Look at you looking cute with your hat on. <laughs> and your sunglasses. You're the coolest cat feeder that there is. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting ready. Well, David's taking compost and stuff out this morning and I'm gonna get going on breakfast. So this is the plan. Yes, you, wanna, you want them to see you, baby? Look at you and your sunglasses. And Anna too, yes. Okay, go, go take care of the meow meows. Okay, here is the plan for breakfast this morning. Okay, I have leftover potatoes from when we had loaded potatoes for lunch earlier this week. So I'm going to dice those up, and then I have some leftover turkey bacon. I'm going to dice that up, dice that up too, and put it in the, uh, the cast iron skillet over here with some eggs. 
And I think I'm gonna scramble up about 20 eggs. I typically do around 24, but with these acting as fillers, I don't think I'll need quite that many. So I'm gonna start with 20. If I need more eggs, I'll add those to the skillet as well. There are still biscuits left over uh, from Sarah making them a couple days ago. And we're gonna eat those up, or I'm not. They are going to eat those up with their breakfast this morning. And whatever we have left over will go in the freezer at this point. So with the biscuits, they'll have some butter from Daisy or Cal, and I am going to cook in the skillet with regular store-bought butter. I wanted to show you guys the difference since I had them both laying out here. The butter from our Cal Daisy is that beautiful yellow, and the store butter just looks so pale next to it. So that's the plan for breakfast. I'm going to get me a cup of coffee and start putting all this stuff together and I'll bring you guys back when I have it ready for the plates. All right, here we go. Everything is ready to go. Sarah's being noisy. She says, I'm so sorry. She's going out to milk the mama goat out there. And let's see, it looks like it's super duper bright over here, guys. But this is the scramble. I went ahead and put some cheese on top because Anna came in and said, oh, it looks so good. Are you gonna put cheese on it? So. We put cheese on it. Um, I put some of the biscuits in the oven just to warm up, just on a low temp to warm up. And so we'll get ready to put this on plates. I'm gonna wait to make up some plates because if Sarah and, and David are out doing the goat, I'm just gonna leave theirs staying warm until they get back in. Now I obviously cannot have the potatoes and all that stuff. But I am finding that I do need some carbs when my adrenals crash like they have the past few days. So I am having fried eggs this morning with some bacon and a thin piece of that whole grain toast that uh, I make up from spelt and hard red wheat. So that is breakfast this morning and I'll make up plates as children come in from their morning chores. All right, some are already eating here. Anna's got her plate here and she chose red bud jelly for her biscuit. I'll put a link in the description box. I see, yours has butter on it. Every time I mention red bud jelly, someone has never heard of it before. So I will put a link. This is jelly made from the flowers of the red bud tree in the springtime. They're pretty purple flowers and they make a really a really unique jelly. So we like it. We try to make it every spring and the children think it's yummy yummy. Yes. <laughs> so yummy yummy. yummy yummy yummy. All right. So we have some plates made up. Some are eating. Some are still making up plates. So we will Lord willing see you guys back at lunchtime. Oh, don't mind my table. It's wash the tablecloth day. You guys if you've watched a lot of our videos, I always have a tablecloth on my table because this is an old antique table and it is, it's pretty rough underneath on the actual wood. So it's washed mama's tablecloth day. So you get to see my roughed up table. Anyhow, I'll see you guys back at lunch. All right, Andrew is the lunchtime helper. So he is making up some homemade hamburger helper type dish. He's already browned up the two pounds of the ground beef. He has some elbow macaroni going over here. And then we make up our own, we don't have the little powder packets that are inside like the macaroni and cheese box. So um, we use this instead and I just buy it from Amazon. Here is the little recipe. Let me see, can you guys see that? Five cups of elbow macaroni, two pounds of ground beef, 16 tablespoons of butter, that's two sticks, one cup of milk, and then one cup of the cheese powder is what we use for our family size batch. Uh, of course, I'm not having this for lunch, um, so I'll just get something, leftovers or something, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm making yogurt at the same time. So that's what's going on in the kitchen, and I intend to come back when everything is all put together and ready to go. Okay, it's Rebecca's. You're welcome. That's that homemade hamburger helper. I just gave her a little tiny bit of, this is fermented kimchi. This is from um, 
our cucumbers from last year and it's a little spicy and it's just been preserved by fermentation and then uh, being in our refrigerator ever since last year so Abigail do you want that much just start off with a little one yeah okay so it is a little spicy but it's really good and this is how the homemade hamburger helper turned out you want more or is that yeah, enough yeah. you want more okay and you can always come back for seconds too mm -hmm. so okay andrew's loading up on the kimchi he knows that he likes it so he's gonna get some of that and the plan is to be back for supper tonight i have some lamb thawing some of our lamb that we raised here and that we butchered ourselves so what baby what I don't understand. What's she saying, Andrew? Me too. Me too? Okay, me too. Yeah, she says. Is it good stuff? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you back at supper time. All right, supper time, guys. Tonight for supper, we had, this is some of our lamb that we raised and butchered earlier this spring, and I just cooked it up in the Instant Pot because I went grocery shopping today and started supper super late. So Instant Pot was the fastest way to get it done. Uh, some green beans, about half of these are from the garden and the other half are just from the store green beans. Corn on the cob came from my brother's garden last year. And this corn has just been in my upright freezer ever since then. So we're trying to use that up before we get a fresh batch from him, hopefully, this year. And then zucchini. This is Parmesan zucchini that was uh, cooked in the oven, and then the last three minutes of it, uh, it was the broil setting went on, and it really made the uh, Parmesan cheese on top really crispy. And then we've got the herbs in there too. So that is supper for tonight. I've got children waiting on me over there to eat. Some of them have their corn on the cob cut off because, well, like Sarah with her braces and stuff, isn't going to be eating corn on the cob. So. For another two whole years. <laughs> For another two whole years. Poor Sarah. <laughs> Poor Rebecca. Uh-huh. You don't eat corn on the cob either, do you? No, you eat it off the cob. You're already eating. Okay, guys, we're going to pray and then eat. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, I guess. You say bye. bye. Yes. All right, breakfast time, guys. And this morning, easy peasy breakfast for children. These are those uh, pumpkin raisin muffins. What, baby? Yeah, you can eat. You can go and eat your muffin. Muffin and milk from Daisy the cow. Yum, yum. <laughs> That's your milk, yes. Uh, there's a whole video on Sarah making these pumpkin raisin muffins. And then we just stored them in the freezer to pull out whenever we had a busy morning that we needed to just eat and go. So that's what these are. Now, of course, Sarah and I are not eating pumpkin raisin muffins. Her because of the sugar. Well, me because of sugar too, but different reasons. <laughs> um, so Sarah has made up these beautiful omelets for the two of us and mine has some turkey bacon in it with some green onion tops from our garden you getting choked up sam sorry it was the, it was I, I i drank too much water <laughs> choked on the liquid and i am again having some of this whole grain bread that i make with my adrenals being so sore you all right sam yes okay <laughs> so okay Cheese omelet, Sam, you're throwing me off here. <laughs> and some coughing. What? All right, do we need to go so Sam can finish his coughing fit? I'm done. You're I'm done? done? You're done. Okay, he's done. All right, we're going to get to eating breakfast. We do have our family reunion today. Are you a little bit excited about the family reunion? A little bit, yeah. And so we're going to get some food ready to take to the reunion, and I plan to show you what's on the agenda there as far as food goes. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> Bye.
Down to the last one. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm working on the things that we're taking for the meal at the uh, family reunion today. The seven-layer salad is already done, and I'll show you that just before we get ready to leave. I've got the green beans all thrown together. Just a handful of these are from the garden, but the rest of them are frozen green beans that I bought during my once a month grocery shopping haul at the beginning of the pay period. So those are gonna cook, and I'm gonna begin working on this quinoa dish over here. I think quinoa is a weird food that a lot of people aren't familiar with. So I was gonna show you that real quick. Let's see. I hope that shows up for you guys. Quinoa is actually not a grain. I'm pretty sure it's technically described as a seed. And so this is a really nice grain-like food for people with blood sugar issues to eat because it's kind of like a rice, but it's not. And it doesn't affect my blood sugar like grains do. So I've got my broth out of the fridge, and this is just bone broth. A lot of people, I'm not going to say a lot, several people in my last What We Eat in a Week video saw this bone broth and thought, oh, look at that fatty broth. That's awfully unhealthy for you. This is not fat. This broth here is gelatinous. It, this is made with bones. There is no chicken fat in the pot whenever I'm making this broth. It's just bones. And it's the gelatin leaching out of the bones that makes this so thick. So this is not fat. This is bone broth here. But I'm getting the rest of my ingredients together and I'm gonna make up this quinoa and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. I think it's pretty. So, okay, here we go. Okay, I needed to come in here and get some garlic for that quinoa dish and I thought I'd show you guys. This is last year's, what's left of the soft neck garlic from last year. So this is the braid that was made up for the soft neck. We've just been snipping off a clove or a bulb here and there as we need it. So that's why there's some empty spots. And we're working on finishing off this braid of soft neck garlic. Soft neck garlic lasts longer than hard neck. So we eat our hard neck garlic first, then we switch over to the soft neck garlic. And once we finish up this braid, we'll start getting into the most recently harvested garlic. So thought I'd show you guys that. Now I'm headed back to the kitchen. And I almost forgot, Sarah's got cookies going in the oven too. She's taking chocolate chip cookies for the family reunion. So again, I'll show you this stuff whenever we get all finished up. I've got to get this quinoa dish put together. Okay, lunchtime is, if you watched the last video on what we eat in a week, you'll already know, clean out mama's fridge. That's the name of the meal where we clean out all the odds and ends of food. And we have, if you want it to sound fancy, you can call it a buffet or a smorgasbord, but it's really just a hodgepodge of all kinds of random stuff. Sarah has made up my plate for me already with just some tiny little hot dogs. This is a golden zucchini that was part of supper last night and green beans from the garden. There is some, it's a copycat salad from Pasta House. Some of that is left over from our homeschool event. Grilled chicken left over from a supper the other night. I had two boys that didn't eat with us that night because they were at a friend's house. So there's not usually quite this much left over <laughs> after a supper. And let's see, over here, there's some homemade hamburger helper, lasagna soup, uh, breakfast, this was that potato, turkey, bacon, scrambled egg, cheese mixture there. Um, that's what the zucchini was in. That's why it's empty. Uh, the cream of barley, cream or malto meal, potatoes, green beans, uh, oats with raisins. There's one little lonely white fleshed sweet potato here. I'm claiming that one. Sarah's claiming that one. And then a few more of those little tiny burgers. So, okay. We're just gonna get everybody in here eating. Sarah's got her first batch of cookies out. This is for the family reunion. And I'm still working on getting that quinoa put together and on the stove. Green beans are done now for the family reunion. So 
We're just going to keep plugging away at it and doing the next right thing. I obviously won't be around here for supper tonight because we're eating at the family reunion, but I do intend to check back in with you guys real quick before we head out for the reunion and show you all the food stuff when we have it all ready to go. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, we're getting ready to head out to the family reunion. I'm going to show you the food that we have made up to take with us. These are uh, Sarah's chocolate chip cookies. These are a sugar-free cookie, a peanut butter chocolate chip. This is that seven-layer salad, which is romaine lettuce, frozen peas, diced celery, green onion tops. We were able to use our garden ones for that. And then I made up a homemade mayonnaise, and then there's grated cheddar cheese and bacon. We use the turkey bacon on top. These are green beans that you saw me fixing earlier, and this is what the quinoa dish turns out like. It, um, I did add spinach, that's what the green is in there, and some tomatoes. So I like with the orange carrots, it just, it's colorful. And I think it's pretty, and it tastes good and it's an alternative to any type of rice dish uh, for me especially but even if you don't have to watch your blood sugars i think it's tasty it's seasoned with salt pepper and thyme so this is what we're taking we're going to head out we're running late like we typically do but we're going to go have a good time and i plan to see you guys again tomorrow morning all right morning time breakfast time we're tired time we got home super late from the family reunion last Mama. night. What, baby? Yeah, Mama. I know. I'm going to eat in just a minute. Okay. So we got home super late from the family reunion last night, and I am missing children. And it's sad for Mama. Yeah, Samuel Mama. and Andrew and Anna stayed with Grandma and Papa. They're going to stay for several days and go to what we like to call Grandma Camp. Mm -hmm. There, So they're going to have a good time. But it's quiet and it's weird in the house right now. Mm -hmm. So yesterday when Sarah made me that omelet, it was so, so good and so pretty that that's what everybody's having this morning. Rebecca has already eaten hers and now she's proceeding to make a mess with her muffin. So they're having muffins that were left over from breakfast. You know, Abigail's got her muffin right there and David's got a muffin over there. So... Uh, bacon cheese omelets with muffins and I have some of our green onions added to mine we're gonna eat and then we've got to get things done we are three people down for our morning jobs so we got to hustle hustle and catch up so oh and these children will have a turn at grandma camp too we just divide them up so it's not so much at one time. So you don't have to feel sorry for the poor pitiful ones left behind. Look at that sad face. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys at lunchtime. All right, so you guys know we got home super, super late last night. We had a late breakfast. So we just skipped supper. We didn't even do a lunch. We just snacked a little bit. You had some... What'd you have? You had some muffins and I think you had cookie. Yeah, yeah, that's a good healthy lunch, right? It, it, it tidied you over. So we've pulled out all the leftovers again, clean out mama's fridge. These were just made fresh yesterday. This was for the um, family reunion. There's still a little bit of potatoes back there and a little bit of hamburger helper and a little bit of lasagna soup. This is stuff that didn't get eaten up yesterday at lunch, so at this point, if it's not eaten today, we're just going to send it out to the chickens. Uh, this quinoa was left over from the family reunion. A little bit of that pasta house salad and grilled chicken still. Mama. What, baby? So that's all our food food. Again, we're three people down because they are um, away at grandma's. You getting ready to eat? Cookie. Cookie. You eat your supper, and then you can have cookie. And then they've got cookies. There's some banana bread, a little bit of muffin left. That'll be dessert then for tonight. So easy peasy. We're shutting it down. We're still tired because yesterday was long and fun. No, baby. No, no. She's going to try to knock herself over. Okay. And we've got laundry to 
fold up still too. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Bye. All right, guys, everything is just falling apart around here. We are so off kilter with children missing and stuff. So, Sarah and I, because I'm blaming you too. It was both of our fault. <laughs> Forgot to I'm film mama. breakfast. Oh. <laughs> What's her She's like, what did I do? What did I do? What, baby? Yes, that's your plate. You can go ahead and eat, baby. We had French toast for breakfast, and it was all gone. I went, oh, I didn't film. So French toast was breakfast this morning. The non-French toast eaters oh, had the bacon and cheese omelets with the green onions again. We're on a kick on those, loving those omelets. Lunch, it's boring guys, this is leftovers again. The uh, the other stuff got that didn't get eaten yesterday got pitched to the chickens. So, not wasted, just sitting out to the chickens. And so we're having that leftover quinoa and green beans from the family reunion and then the grilled chicken. So David's having kombucha with his there's one piece of banana bread left and still a whole bunch of chocolate chip cookies we are just not going through the food that we typically do with samuel andrew and anna being gone so hopefully i will remember tonight supper time that's the plan <laughs> see you guys at supper Bye. okay guys i remembered at supper time yay so I'm gonna show you what we're doing. We've never done this before. Let's just end this video with a complete surprise to where no one knows what in the world we're gonna end up with. I don't even know. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what we're working with. And then we will all find out together what we end up with tonight. Let's go see. Okay, so I still have three children gone and I didn't really have a good plan for tonight. Everything just fell apart as far as the planning goes, guys. So we've been flying by the seat of our pants here for the majority of this video. I did recently get this smoked sausage for free. That would have been on, it may have been my last weekly sale ad video where I got that for free. And then we just have some produce here, a lot of which has come from the garden. The asparagus was on sale in this last weekly sale also. We are going to make some sort of skillet stir fry something with asparagus and peppers. Some, this is our last one from the store, isn't it, Sarah? I believe so. Okay. We have other peppers that are from the garden that we can throw in there. These are those Chinese long beans that come out of the garden. And you can kind of see those. Some of our zucchini. This is a lemon squash. And onion from the store uh, the garlic scapes here are from our garden putting some of those in there we're just gonna see what we end up with we'll put it in a big skillet and we'll let you know if it's decent or not so <laughs> we're gonna get chopping and then we'll show you what we ended up with in the skillet all right guys this is what we ended up with and i'll tell you i've already taken a bite of it and it's good so yeah, we use the toasted sesame oil in there. I added some salt and pepper. There's just that, oh, that beef smoked sausage ring is in there. Peppers, asparagus, a lemon squash, which is like a crook neck, and zucchini. <laughs> Did I say green pepper? I'm losing track, guys. Onions, garlic scapes, long beans, just stuff that we had in the fridge to use up. Uh, sauteed it in that toasted sesame oil. Um, everything is still kind of crispy and good. Again, there's only six yeah. of us here tonight. Yeah. What, baby? Are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll get you a plate. Yeah. Just six of us here tonight since Samuel, Andrew, and Anna are at Grandma's house. So this will be enough for us. We do still have cherries left over from snack. <laughs> Just put me some food on my plate. <laughs> so, um, and then there's still chocolate chip cookies left over too so we will have plenty to eat all right let me get you some yum yum yeah. okay here we go all right guys that's it you ready to eat
Yes. <laughs> Thank you for tagging along with us this week, week and a half. I don't even know how long it's been at this point. I feel like we've been filming our meals for a long time. And things did not go as planned. So thank you for hanging in there, even though things didn't go as planned. And this is, we got some gifts in the mail today. Uh, Sean went by the UPS store, our mailbox, and a sweet, sweet lady that watches our channel sent some bubble toys for the kids. And these are popsicle molds for making fancy popsicles. This is a big upgrade from what we've got. And the piping, the bags for piping out icing or for piping out pudding in these. So that'll be some other food stuff that we can make soon. So we're going to go ahead and eat. Guys, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you have not already. You know how to do it, yeah. <laughs> and if you could tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead, it would help our family's channel grow. And we sure would appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.